Black People's Congress into the conversation because um, some of these uh, divisions, I you know, started to, mind. you know, exactly be because of, uh, first of all, the Odua People's Congress, you know, started uh, by Fer Frederick Fashion back then be after um, um, Abiola um, and his election were annulled. They came up with their own group hoping that they would be able to achieve um, what um, Abiola was stopped from achieving. And so when that, you know, rose, people started to join the group. You know, the Arewa Constituted Forum eventually started its own group a couple of uh, months or years later. Um, so these divisions started to, you know, to be created back then. And then there was, of course, even, even in Northern Nigeria, there's always also been that same narration or that's those type of issues with uh, Northern traders versus Igbo traders. There's always going to be, you know, some skirmishes here and there, either from superior or just some hatred that has been pushed, you know, through by Ethnic politics. Ethnic divide. Um, some people say um, um, politics, you know, aggravates the uh, situation on the ground. But let, let's look at some solutions. Because when I saw this story, I was like, this, I'm tired. Oh, I was saying, expressing frustration the other day when it came to um, ASU uh, situation. Not that we're not abreast of what is happening with the facts, but... What are the solutions? How can we move forward as a people? I saw some suggestions online that I thought I'll just mention now. Um, this has been reiterated over and over by different groups under different guys and all of that economic cooperation. Um, like I said uh, earlier, it is um, our collective properties that we are destroying. So it is imperative that there is some economic cooperation. There's also talking about political and state cooperation. If the forces of the state and don't aggravate this divide, then in time it will fizzle out. But if they don't encourage dialogue and education, that's another one, of the youth, by leaders that lead by example, in your appointment, don't be sectarian. In your decision making when it comes to leadership, don't be sectarian. These are some of the... And then secular activities, if I'm... Um, um, let me add that quickly. Festivals, we already have that. That was... That's, some of these suggestions have been, you know, implemented. Intertribal marriage happens on a daily basis in yes, this country. So I, I feel Nigeria as a country, uh, through its history, has not been able to imbibe a lot of love amongst ourselves. The country and its politics has continued to create divisions. The country and its injustice and unfairness, you know, over time have uh, continued to push and, you know, even create more divisions amongst its people. And it flows all, it trickles all the way down to even the smallest village in Nigeria, where you still have people who, you know, they were, so this one's our also. I guess they, it, they, it they has to be a reorientation and education of the mind and a decision, a collective decision to choose the positives that strengthen us other than the things that divide us. Um, I guess that's the way we will uh, wrap things up here for yes, uh, today in history what binds us is stronger than that that divides us please if that's the only thing you take away from the breakfast this morning i'll be very grateful hello hope you enjoyed the news please do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates